What's up guys, Heat King here, bringing you a, well, discussion video. So, yeah, this is going to be about the uh, Resident Evil announcements. So let's start with Resident Evil 8, uh, let's talk about that, Village, Gold Edition, finally confirmed, hooray. Before I do start, remember to like and subscribe. I'm actually using a new webcam for this, so let's see how this goes. But yeah, Resident Evil Village uh, Gold Edition is coming out at the end of October, just in time for Halloween. And the stuff they revealed for it was pretty interesting, to say the least. So yeah, going, going into this game and waiting for them to announce the story DLC, there was a lot of, you know, thoughts and expectations for what that DLC would be. Now me, I roughly had two ideas, one of them being that we were either going to get a DLC focusing on Chris and he's, uh, you know, he's cast of wacky characters, <laughs> uh, in this case he's team basically, and it would probably be set after those events of Resident Evil 8. Uh, or, you know, dealing with the BSA and the uh, dead, uh, what is it, B-O-W soldier that they found, or the DLC would focus on Rose Mary Winters instead, in which case we would have a DLC that takes place God knows when, you know, and or obviously maybe confirming whether or not that she was growing very fast, or if there really had been a huge time gap, or time jump, if you will. Well, with the, with the uh, footage they revealed, uh, we pretty much found out that, yeah, the DLC that we're getting, uh, the story DLC, the main story DLC, called Shadow of Rose, takes place 16 years after the events of Resident Evil Village. So we're going to be playing as Rosemary, set 16 years after that main game, which pretty much confirms a few ideas I've had. Now, you know, there's been a lot of rumors regarding Resident Evil 9 already, that it's already in development, that it's technically speaking a Resident Evil apocalypse, uh, as it was mentioned in the uh, Capcom leak that was hacked a few years ago. Uh, that game would probably be in development about now, probably has been in development since last year, technically speaking. Uh, most likely that game went into development sometime after RE8 probably went into development. It's supposed to, or at least it was planned to come out next, well, in 2024, I believe, actually. No, 2023, I believe. Yes, it was 2023. 2020, 2024 was supposed to be the Hank game that apparently has been cancelled. Now, I don't see this game coming out next year because we're getting Resident Evil 4 Remake instead. Is it possible it'll come out in 2024? Uh, no, I don't. I feel like this is going to be a pretty big game. And I feel like there's going to be a big gap between... It's going to be the same gap that, that there was between RE7 and RE8. So there's a, there's a nice big four-year gap there. So if you, count, if you count it up, really, and think about it, there's most likely the game is going to be coming out in 2025 instead. Especially if it's supposed to be, you know, as it's rumored, it's supposed to be a pretty big game. And with the confirmation that Rosemary is getting a DLC for this game, for the Gold Edition, it, it makes me, it, you know, it leads me to speculate that RE9 is going to be focusing on Chris and his team, and maybe other characters. In this case, the rumors are that we're going to get Chris, Leon, Jill, and Claire, all four of them appearing together in this big, massive game and it rounding up their storylines, which I think is actually going to happen now at this point. I think they are going to do that because it's a, it's, it's a very high number to hit. Do you know what I mean? The fact that they're now onto Resident Evil 9, it's like, yeah, you got to do something big with that. They did, they did try to go big with Resident Evil 6, but they really sort of dropped the ball with that game. But here it's like they got a chance now to sort of redeem themselves and bring back characters that we want to see. It would be very interesting, for example, like... Uh, if, if they continue the concept of having, like, different enemies, right? So you have, like, the four enemies, right? Well, in this case, you have four main characters, and each character maybe takes play, takes a certain area and fights a certain enemy, and then, boom, there you go. It's like, it, maybe they could do something like that. And then they all intercross together at the end, and then they take on the final boss or something. That would be pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah, uh, the Rose DLC. I'm very curious to see what that's about. Um, from looking at it, from what we've seen so far, I have to say, it reminds me a lot of... Uh, I've seen people throw uh, Evil Within in there, but no, for me, for me, it doesn't uh, remind me of... I didn't, even, I didn't even think about Evil Within uh, when, uh, when looking at the footage. If anything, I was thinking of about uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Uh, for anyone who's played that game, uh, there's, there's certain points in that game where you're sort of playing uh, Dracula, basically, and you're going through the castle... And you've got like slime or blood, whatever, coming in and trying to attack him. And at one point in the game, he sort of goes into the will of the castle and he fights like he's in a demon. 
And I feel like this is something similar to this, where well, Rosemary is clearly fighting like her inner demons, basically, and whatever remnants, remnants, is that what you call it, of, of people that remain. We, we have no idea how this all works. I mean, it's supposed to be in our head, but the fact that she's going through certain areas in village, uh, and it makes me wonder if we're going to go through certain other areas that we've been to, maybe. I think some people pointed out that the, the lab looks very similar to the lab in RE7, which is a bit weird, like, surely that's a new area, right? Um... I, Im I imagine we're going to be fighting similar enemies that have been uh, molded and that. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the, uh, so, you know, some of the lords to come back. It's very interesting to see that the Duke is playing a villain role. So what happened to him? Are we going to find out some backstory regarding him as well? Is the other Rose that Rose meets, uh, uh, you know, Evelyn perhaps? Like, or a darker self? It, it gives me very uh, a Natalia and Alex Wesker vibes. Or a Little Miss, if you will. Like the Little, or the Struggle DLC. Is that what it was called? The Struggle? Or was it called the Little Miss DLC? Uh, from Revelations 2, so I'm getting a lot of that vibes from that, um, I don't know that, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious what they're going to do, like, how, are they going to throw in files, maybe, that you get to read, and it, and it tells you certain things that have happened in those 16 years, maybe we get, when we finally get confirmation of what's happened to certain characters, and then that will, that will sort of close off their storylines, uh, it, it does feel like they're going to try and wrap up the uh, Winter's storyline with this game, and I'm fine with that, because if it, if it means that we get to wrap up this, and it ends on a good conclusion, then you have basically RE7, RE8 that sort of stand on their own together as this first and second game, like direct sequel, if you will, and then RE9 will obviously take place, I believe, between the events of the uh, epilogue and uh, aftermath of RE8, so, you know, then we got that 16 years now to fill up, essentially, uh, some people have theorized certain things, uh, and me looking at it, I was kind of thinking, what if this, what if this actually ties in with uh, the, the uh, Netflix show, right? Because uh, it's 16 years after, right? And, it's, and, and RE8 took place, what, in uh, 2021, like, real time, right? So, uh, let, let's think about that. Uh, 16 years, so 10 years later, that would be 31, right? So, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So, it would take, so, so that would take place in the year 2037. Isn't that when uh, the uh, new show, the Netflix show, takes place, or where, or where, or where the apocalypse is taking over? But I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't think they're gonna do that. No, I'm just saying it'll, it'll be funny if they did that and they revealed. Oh no, this show is part of the canon now. It's like, wait, what? Like what? <laughs> But no, uh, I'm very surprised by that. It, it looked very good. I'm looking forward to playing. I'm definitely going to buy the uh, gold edition. So I'm probably going to be selling my steelbook then because um, I don't need it anymore. Or I'll just keep it as a collector's item. I don't know. I don't. I, I kind of hate having two versions. I've already got two versions of different games multiple times. But it's just weird at this point. Do you know what I mean? It's just taking up the space. Um, moving on. Uh, the Mercenaries mode, I don't particularly care about it. Uh, I think, I think, I feel like if that was maybe co-op, I would enjoy it, but as a standalone thing, okay, whatever. I, li I like the fact they added Chris, but I also like the fact they added Heisenberg and Lady Dimitrescu, so that's pretty freaking hardcore and cool to be able to play as them. It's a bit weird they didn't add the other lords, though, like, uh, I feel, I feel like they could have done that. I feel like they could have added, uh, the other lords as well, maybe. I feel like there's a missed opportunity there. Um... I guess because of popularity. Plus, they were the two lords with the best areas in the game. Uh, you know, uh, minus, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Donna, Donna Benavito. Like, uh, her area was good, but it was just short. Do you know what I mean? And Memorial's area was... It was okay. Like, I wish there was more to it than, than how it was, but it was okay. It was just a big boss arena, essentially. Like, a big boss puzzle area, which is fine. I, I liked it. it. Just I wish there was more to it. And those two areas were the very smallest, shortest parts of the game, and I wish they'd added more content to that. But um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, the third-person mode it was the most unexpected thing. Uh, and it made me re it made me think, and it, and I, I I have to sometimes say this. Uh, I think I think it's important for people to know when they do when Capcom does DLC like this for their games, it it, it sometimes feels like an experiment, and it sort of gives you an idea of where of where the uh, sequel or what direction the sequel might go. Now, the fact that we got the Rose DLC just makes me believe 100%. Depending on how it ends as well, it makes me 100% believe we are not going to be playing as Rose in RE8. Uh, this is not a setup for us to play. Um, again, um, depending on how it ends, this won't technically be a setup for playing as her in, in the main RE9 campaign when it comes out. It, it'll be different characters. And the third person mode being added in uh, makes me believe that for RE9, 
uh, they are strictly going to be focusing on how to implement both first person and third person for RE9 going forward. And it might even be something they'll implement for future games as well. But for now, I think this is something gonna, they're going to try and do for RE, for RE9. It might even be a case where you get multiple campaigns for RE9 and, and some of them are in first person and some of them are in third person and for us we get the best of both worlds uh, they might do that to sort of differentiate the different gameplay or campaigns maybe I don't know maybe they'll do that but I think I'm thinking this is a high possibility as well uh, because after this game after they release uh, RE, uh, RE8 Gold Edition where we already got uh, RE4 Remake announced so far coming out uh, the the Nevada the Nevada League or whatever you want to call it did say that there was an outbreak game included that was supposed to be coming out, uh, and so far a lot of the games for that league have been real, have turned out to be real and have been coming out. So for all we know, there is there is an outbreak game coming out, maybe in uh, at the end or the late parts of twenty twenty three, or maybe towards in twenty twenty four. Uh, we don't know if it's a remake, we don't know if it's a reboot, we don't know if it's a remaster, we have no idea what that is. But that one does seem like the most legit one that's probably kind of... It could be a totally different game, we don't know. And then you have Dust Golem saying that there's still the uh, RE... Uh, the RE... Uh, what is it? The, the Outrage or the Nintendo Switch RE game coming out that we still have heard nothing on. So, God knows. God knows what their future plans are for RE games. Personally... I would I would say they should start thinking about remaking the original RE remake and maybe remaking RE0 or doing the next best thing which is taking the best part of RE0 and RE remake and combining it and making this big ultimate uh, raccoon forest resident evil reimagining kind of game and then moving all over onto the Code Veronica remake and then remaking Resident Evil 5 that's I think that's what they should be doing really because uh if RE9 is coming out in 2025, they got like a year to fill that gap in with, with something. Like, it has to be something, right? Because after RE4, what, what is coming out in between that time period? So I'm very curious about that. Uh, the RE4 remake footage that they showed, it looked good. The tone looks great. But I was pretty much disappointed with the fact that we didn't get any kind of gameplay. They didn't really give us like uh, the beginning sequence. It would have been nice just to get that cabin sequence and it ended there. But no, we didn't really get anything. So it doesn't look like the laser sight is in there as well. But maybe that's something they're going to add back in later. I don't know. Maybe they're going to go for the red candle. I don't personally, I don't mind uh, playing Resident Evil 2 uh, remake. Uh, when you get that gun with the laser sight, it was kind of, it kind of sucked to be honest. So... Uh, I feel like they should just stick with me with the uh, uh, re 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 rectangle, if you will, like the re re rect so whatever you, or whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm very curious where this DLC is going to go. That's the main thing I'm sort of curious about. And I am looking forward to playing this game in third person and seeing how much different of uh, of an experience it'll be. So I'm, pro I'm definitely going to buy that and I'm definitely going to be streaming that uh, probably on my Twitch channel when I do. Uh, and then up, and then getting the footage and uploading it onto my other YouTube channel. So yeah, that, that's gonna be fun to do. I'm looking forward to October, especially since I got uh, I booked the week from when from Halloween, and the and, and towards the end of the week off. So I will actually be able to play this in my free time and not be like ah I worried in that. So no, this will this will be fun. This will be a fun thing to do. Anyway, guys, that's my video for that. Uh, I know uh, I, some of you are probably expecting a live reaction. I did watch. I did obviously I did watch it. But at that point, it was very late and I was very tired and I was trying my best to stay awake. After it was over, I pretty much just went to sleep like straight off. Like I was very exhausted that day, so I could not react to that if I if I tried. But yeah, uh, overall, that was a, that was a decent event. I was very surprised by that uh, by that Capcom game show, and hopefully, we get more soon. But yeah, guys, uh, that's the end of that video. I hope you liked it. Uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe i'm apologizing for the background noise uh, the laptop is just doing like a big heating up so yeah that's gonna be an annoying sound to hear and listen to but yeah anyway guys yeah take care and uh yeah again remember to like and subscribe i don't know if i said that already remember to like and subscribe share comment down below whatever and i shall see you when i shall see you take care and bye guys take care and bye